What's going on everyone? My name's Adam Repos Vox and welcome back to another tutorial. This is going to be a very brief tutorial, hopefully because it's a very simple concept, but I get asked for some of these things that I've done pretty much my entire technology life. And so I'm going to show them here for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to emulate Game Boy Advance games on your computer, laptop, any computer that could run it for free, easily. First things first, you wanna go to you're gonna to wanna to go to the link I put in the description below to download Visual Boy Advance version 1.8.0. The version on SourceForge isn't actually updated for some reason. It's very strange. And just click the where it says file name, Visual Boy Advance, blah 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 dot exe, and download it to wherever you save your downloads to and click save. Now navigate to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded it to and take the visual boy dot or visual boy exe this is the actual executable for the game it's not an installer so cut it and put it in its own folder because it's going to make a bunch of temporary and system files for the program so over on one of my solid state drives i'm just going to make a folder called gba for game boy advance and i'm going to paste the visual boy advance exe in there and then i'm going to go ahead and run it and here is the emulator window itself and you can see in the folder it has made a vba1 dot i and i and next you're going to need a game boy advance rom file now i'm not going to show you too much detail about how to do this as game boy advance is still somewhat new enough or supported enough generation that i might get into trouble for it but if you navigate on the rest of this website that i linked you for the download which happens to be called mu paradise you'll see there's a rom and iso section and gba roms and they have over 2800 game boy advance roms so you can find your own they are generally dot gba files once you have one, all you really have to do is drag and drop it onto the Visual Boy Advance screen, as you'll see me do in just a moment. Now the specific ROM that I am using here is actually a ROM hack of one of the Pokemon games, so it's going to look a little bit different than if you're playing an official Pokemon game. And the first thing you'll notice, especially on my giant 4K screen here, is that the preview is quite small because Game Boy Advance games basically ran at 240p. So you can use your arrows, you know, the little normal resize windows to resize the screen. Now keep in mind, it doesn't maintain aspect ratio, so you can make it widescreen if you want. You can double click to maximize it, make it full screen. Running Pokemon at 4K, not necessarily needed, although we are running it above 1080p. Something that you do want to notice here is at the top, it has a percentage. That is the speed, basically how fast the game is running compared to real time. So 100% is it's running at 100% normal speed. And if you and if you hold in the speed up key, which used to be spacebar, you can see it goes up into the thousands because you're speeding through the game. All right, let's take a really, really quick look at the options just to optimize it for you here real quick. If you go to file, you can open up ROMs, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color. You can save game states. So instead of just saving in game, you can actually save exactly where you are in case you're at a point where you can't actually save the game in the normal game. Or if you just want to go back to a certain point, you have 10 of those by default and then you can load from those spots as well so you can totally pause the game and reset it and then you can import game shark code files battery files if you want to do more advanced stuff there's a screen capture option though i do recommend using third-party programs such as dx story or fraps or something like that obs is what i'm going to be using for some playthroughs over on my epos fox gaming channel link to that in the description below go sub that up and then you have some options for the video render methods you have some advanced stuff here that I'm not going to get into, although I can do an advanced tutorial if you like. But if you go to video, you can turn on VSync, which will sync the frame rate to your monitor's frame rate. Generally not recommended. You can choose whether it uses OpenGL or DirectX to render it. You can actually customize the size here. So by default, it's set to times one, and then you resize it yourself, or you can tell it specifically times four. So this is times four of what the game normally runs at. And as you can see, the speed is back up to 100 because it's a lower resolution. You can add in borders, uh, what version of Game Boy it's running, so I'm going to put it at GBA. Um, uh, you can change how it renders the sound, what priority in your system it has, and then you can go to Joypad here, and this is where you set up your hotkeys. So you have four different Joypad options, and you can just customize the key bindings for the game. And it has Z, X, uh, Z, X, A, and S to make the buttons closer together, but I usually map them to A, B, L, R just because that's what they actually are and that's easier for me to remember. Or you can map them to a controller if you're using a controller, which is makes things a lot easier. You can change the language. You can set up wireless adapter settings. Again, much more advanced tutorial. You can put in cheats, GameShark codes, or I think some action replay codes might work. 
and then you can record some like I said and that's pretty much it but this is how you emulate and run Game Boy games on your Windows computer now Game Boy is an old enough console generation that pretty much any computer can run it so you can run it on your laptop you can run it on a crappy desktop anything running Windows like non Windows RT will run this there are emulators you can use for Android if you want a tutorial on that leave me a comment down below one last little bit that I did want to mention here I'm recording this after the end of this video here is if you want to actually be able to just run the game via a one-click shortcut what you have to do is right click your GBA file and go to properties then go to where it says opens with click change and then you're gonna to want to navigate to and go to more apps or actually check that scroll down look for another app on this PC and find your Visual Boy Advance file so I'm gonna to navigate to my solid state drive games GBA Visual Boy Advance.exe click OK on that click apply and OK again and then you can make a shortcut to this GBA file and put that on your desktop or your start menu or your taskbar and then every time you double click that it'll automatically open it up in Visual Boy Advance and all you have to do is load your save file now if you move your Visual Boy Advance EXE that changes things as it's not gonna know where to find it so it's not gonna be able to do that so keep that in mind Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Let me know what other tutorials like this you might want to see. I encourage people to play games of all generations and when hardware isn't accessible, emulation to me is an option. I am against piracy on many levels for many different reasons, but when it comes to playing older games, I believe games should be accessible and emulation is one way to go about that instead of trying to bargain hunt at a goodwill or something like that. So thank you for watching. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in a future tutorial. Come over to my Eples Fox gaming channel for some gaming videos. I'm going to be playing through this Pokemon Heroes ROM hack potentially quite soon. I don't know much about what it is, but it's going to be interesting.